Hi, I'm just going to do a quick review of this little small receiver I got. This is a crystal set and it's got two bands on it. You'll need to operate it with one of these oil impedance hero pieces which you get with the kit anyhow. Um, and it's quite a nice little one. Um, you can see how small it is. It is actually quite small indeed. If my camera can focus on it. You've got um, two bands and a little silver silver piece there is a it's a micro tuner, so you can tune it in. Um, it is actually picks up very, very clear, which I'll deal with demonstration in a minute. But what I'm also going to show you is, I went to my local DIY store, and I managed to pick up this little box. Um, it's only a wood one, but it cost me a grand total of 29p. But if you look, it fits in there very, very well. So I'm going to put my receiver in the box. And uh, I'll give a little quick video of it all working when I've actually managed to fit it into the box. Um, that's what I'm planning on doing with it. You will need a little small screwdriver, something like that, just to actually tune it in with, with that little micro tuning knob there. Um, but the radio itself picks up wonderful, which I'm going to do a quick demonstration in a minute. And then, then I'll show you the finished radio when I mount it on the box. I'm back again. This is the second part of this little video. As you can see, I put two wires here. One is the earth and one is an antenna. The antenna is about 30 foot long on this one. Um, it's plugged in to my speaker, which I'm going to use here. And uh, we're going to use it and run it from the speaker. The only reason I'm obviously not using the headphones is because you won't hear it. Um, but it is extremely clear with the headphones as well. So. Here we go, I'll power off this little speaker up now. That's, it. That's one of the bands. If you want to alter it, you have to use that micro pass over there, the micro tuning knob. And you can alter the, the frequency just so by pulling out here, pulling this clip out here, going on to the second band. And you see it's changed the the actual station because it's tuned into another station on a different band. Okay, so that's how it all works. I'll just plug it back into the original one. So there we go. And I agree, it's pretty clear. So, now that's it working. I'll do another quick one with it all mounted in the box. Let's turn it off a minute. I'll do another one with it all mounted in the box and also I'll give you little contact details where you can actually get this little small radio. It is not a lot of money at all. Obviously you have to assemble it yourself and there's very little soldering you have to do. But um, it's a fun little project for anyone who wants to do it. Um, and I'll give you the contact details later. Okay, well, this is the finished build I've done. And if you can see it in this light, hopefully you can. It's all finished. This is the little band selector here, the earth and the aerial, and there's where you put your audio source to. And that's it, that's the little build done. I put some little labels on it and stuff like that to um, just to jazz it up a little bit. This is the off cut which I cut off the box, so I had to actually cut the box down a little bit just to show you to actually get the radio to fit in nice and neatly around. Um, and what I also had to do, which if you carry on with this build, you probably won't have to do if you buy it or get it from new, is I turned a couple of these fittings around on the board and I top soldered them. So I done it with these ones, the earth, the aerial, the band selector switch and the micro tuner there. So that's what I turned around on the board just to make so it fitted flat as you made it, as you made it. But I think it came out quite nicely, and I shall have hours and hours of fun um, doing this. Okay, thank you for watching. Just again, a shit quick demonstration of the, the actual build working. Wired up there. Coming out here into the speaker again. You can see it quite nicely. Really working. Again, I've got it plugged into the speaker. Here's probably what you would use to use it. Quite a nice little build. I'll turn it off a bit now. Hope you had great fun building this. 
And like I said, I'll leave you a link with the website. Right, as promised, this is the actual website and the chap I get the um the, the little set from. I have bought other sets from him as well before, and they've all been rather nice, actually. This is the actual kit itself. As you see, it's not a lot to actually solder together. I think anyone really can um, do that. And uh, that's, that's that. Let's go down to um, show you the kit. You can read a little bit about it. I suppose there's um, quite a little thing there, really. I'm sure you can find them just if you go onto eBay and just type in um, crystal radio sets or just radio kits. I'm sure you will find these sites. I said it's not a bad price as well, actually. So it's not bad. He has actually got other kits for sale, which I'll show you quickly on here. Um, I said I have bought a number of kits off this chap before, and he's called Trevor actually, and uh, he's quite a nice chap, so you'll have no problem at all with him if anything goes wrong. Um, not that any of his kits have gone wrong so far I ever bought, and um, he's got quite a range. Yeah, but I could hardly recommend this seller on eBay. He's um, been quite good to me as well. So there you go, that's where I got it from. Um, and I hope you enjoy making your kit.